G'day, it's Rusty and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be building ourselves an electromagnetic clamp. So, currently what I do is when I've cut something on the table, on the plasma table, I need to clean the surface of it to get the dross off the back and also to, to clean the metal. So currently what I'm using is I've made these clamps for myself and using the holes in the bench, you do the clamp up, you run your wire wheel on the grinder around the surface, clean it up, but you've missed the bit where the clamp's holding it. So then you've got to move it, turn it round, clamp it again, clean that bit, undo it, turn it over, clamp it again, you know, you get the picture. So if you're doing one piece, it doesn't matter, but when you're doing a lot of pieces, like a production run or, or just multiple pieces in the, you know, in the one time, it's a bit time consuming doing all that. So with that in mind, what we're going to use is I've bought these electromagnetic door locks. And I'll just show you what's in the box. It's a pack of screws. What you get in the box is, this is the electromagnet and it's powered by a 12 volt supply. And then that fits in the door jam of your door. And this is the metal locking plate that screws to your door. So the idea is when, when the, the plate on the door comes to, to the closed position, it locks, it, you power this up, this locks that, and the door won't move. Now, these are rated at 180 kilos. So I've got four of them. And the idea is I'm gonna mount them on a frame and spacing them at different spacings gives me um, the use of one or two or four, depending on how big the piece is. And I'll just demonstrate that what I mean is, this is one of the, the electromagnets. I've got a 240 volt to 12 volt power supply and this is rated an, more than enough to power all, the, all four of these. So if I give you a demonstration of what happens, okay, this is a, a number six, number nine, uh, house number that I've cut a heap of. So at the moment there's no power on this, so obviously it's not gonna do anything. If I power this up, and I stick that on there, well, I've got, to, I've got to work pretty hard to get that off. So this is gonna be, this will hold this metal piece in place. I'll be able to clean it, turn the power off, turn this over, the other side, clean it. So I'm not handling the clamps all the time. And for a bigger piece, and I'll just show you, let me just take this off. So if I have a bigger piece like this, this um, tree owl that I've made, if, if I was to put these together and space them apart, I'd be able to put that across multiple magnets and with enough clamping force that it's not going to move around. Okay, so that's, that's the plan for today. And what I'm using is will be a metal base plate. I'm going to use this 50 by 25 um, rectangular tube and that'll be arranged so these will fit um, roughly like that. So they'll fit across the top. There's another one in the box. So there'll be four together. Uh, I'll put a, a plate across the top here because I'm going to hide the power supply in underneath. Um, so first thing we need to do is strip all the bits because these I've already stripped these, have a look at them. I've got some extra bits on the side to take off and then I can actually show you the spacing and how it's going to look. Right, so this is what I'm planning to do. Um, these are 170 uh, long. I've got the two centre ones are spaced 70 mils apart and the outside two are spaced at 120 mil apart. So as you can see, I can take my small number or a small piece, put it across one or two, and the bigger pieces, that'll actually fit across all four, or if it's an in-between size, you sort of get, you know, I can sort of use it. Now if I find that for some reason it's not um, strong enough or needs to be made bigger, I guess I can always expand this thing, making it longer or whatever. But at the moment, this is what I'm planning to do. So I'll, dr I'll drill a clearance hole in each end, and then I'll drill and tap a hole in each of these two, uh, these two rails, and then get them all where I want them. I'm gonna have to route the wires down underneath here, because I am going to put a plate, I'll just take this off. I'm actually gonna lay a plate across here, and then sit these up on top, so I don't get all dirt and stuff going in, because as I said, the power supply, I'm gonna 
going to hide the power supply up in here somewhere. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to secure it yet, but then there'll be a base plate as well. So I need to get on and make those base plates. I need to drill these holes and then drill and tap these rails here. So I'll, I'll get on and do that. And we need to cut the plate. We'll go over on the plasma table and do that. This is the uh, top plate. And these lines have got a crease. I'm going to fold it over to cover the power supply. And I've got the steel set up on the table. And we've got the tip in the starting position. I've told the torch where it is, it's down here in this corner, so we're going to hit the start button and it'll go and cut this plate for me. And just like that, this plate's cut. So this is the top piece. I can uh, take that out of here. All right, one down, one to go. And now we're ready to cut the base plate. And the base plate is 405 high, and it's 230 wide. Again, we've got the torch set up in the corner of the material. Just a matter now of Hitting the start button. And this is the base plate. I've, I've cut this out of a three mil plate. And all right, we'll take that to the bench, we'll give it a clean. Now here's an example of what I mean about having to clamp something to the bench in order to clean it. And I want to run the uh, little my grinder with the wire wheel. I want to clean the surface, both sides, but I've got two clamping points. <laughs> so I've got to clean it, move the clamps, clean it again, turn it over. So that's another example of why the electromagnetic clamp will be a good thing to have instead of having to do all this manual clamping all the time. All right, I've gone ahead and bent up this top plate and I've had a bit of a play with it in terms of how I'm going to mount the power supply inside. So what I've done is I've welded a plate underneath. So now I've sort of made like a captive box. And the idea is on the end, I've cut a slot which represents the power connector into the power supply and this is my off-on switch for the DC power. So this is the power supply and you can see the end where the plug is. So what I do is I'm going to mount that inside there, slide that in, I'm going to tie it in. So that lines up here, so now the power cord when I do plug it in will be going in this way and I've got a toggle switch which is which will go in the hole so what I'll do is I'll switch the DC power to the coils so I can turn it on and off while it's still powered up with the mains. The other thing I've done too is I've drilled holes in the top plate where the cables from the magnets go through. So I've got these uh, rubber grommets so I'll put a grommet in here, put a hole through, pass the cable through so I'm going to stop a lot of dirt and stuff getting underneath. Alright, so the next thing really to do is to get some paint on this, I think. Uh, it's ready to go. I've, I've already tested the magnets as I showed you earlier. So I've just got to add some fly leads to these so I can terminate it all underneath. And then, so once I get it painted, I'll show you how it all goes together and then we can test it. Okay, as you can see now, the uh, top piece and the, the bottom plate are all painted and I've assembled um, this top piece. I've put the oh, whole stop it, Roy. Um, I've put the four magnets in place, I've wired them in, the power supply is in the, is underneath, the uh, mains cord comes in here, and this is the off-on switch for the power. So really it's just now a matter of assembling it, and to assemble it, all I need to do is um, place this top piece in here, and I can line up where the magnets go. If I can get my head out of the way and get the cables out of the way. 
There we go, right. So let me just put these bolts in. Now that it's all assembled, I'm just going to give it a, uh, a try and show you how it works. I've got a couple of numbers here I want to clean, and I've also got a larger piece. This is a uh, kookaburra cutout. I just want to clean it as well. So I'll start with the smaller ones, and then I'll put the bigger ones on. So it's just a case of it's powered up. I can lay them across there, turn the power on. They're not going anywhere. You saw how easy that was. Uh, I'll just turn the power back off there. So yeah, the, the, these clamp really well. Uh, no issue with it moving. And as you saw with the with the numbers, uh, you know I can lay two at a time. If I had more, I could probably do more. And yeah, it's so much easier. So yeah, that's a quick demonstration of how it works. I'm really pleased with the with the way it's come out, and it'll make my life a lot easier. Well, I'm really pleased with the way this electromagnetic clamp turned out. As I said, these are four electromagnetic door locks. They're rated at 180 kilos each. The power supply inside is a 240 volt to 12 volt 10 amp uh, supply, and that's more than enough to, to power these four. And the toggle switch on the end just switches the 12 volt power to the coil, so it can, be, it can remain plugged in at the mains, and I can just turn it on and off. Now this is going to be so much easier than, as I showed you in the beginning, clamping things down individually to the bench. It really is going to make my life a lot, lot easier, a lot quicker, simpler to, to clean parts. And that's something we do, you know, all the time. So if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button's down here. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about how I made this, please put them in the comments below. I certainly get to answer all your questions. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, there's a link in the description to below to buy me a coffee. I certainly appreciate all the support I get uh, from, from your viewers. And uh, that's it for this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.